Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Today we're going to be going over an Amazon skill, but is not restricted only to Amazons. It is known as Pierce. Pierce is probably one of the most powerful abilities that the Amazon has, bar none. And, uh, and if you have not taken advantage of the Pierce ability, then you don't really have, uh, you never really have taken advantage of the, uh, of the Amazon. Because quite honestly, the Amazon is <laughs> very, very, very strongly linked to the Pierce ability. Uh, most of the abilities that they have in the bow and crossbow tree, as well as the javelin and spear tree, uh, with exception to the spear skills specifically, are very strongly tied to Pierce. And, uh, and as an example of this, I'd like to show you just how powerful Pierce is. Uh, this is Lightning Fury. You may be very familiar with Lightning Fury because it is a very strong Amazon ability and, uh, and it does a pretty nice amount of damage. However, without Pierce, it's nothing. Pierce is the main reason why Lightning Fury does so much damage and, uh, and we can demonstrate this on a calculator. Right now, my Lightning Fury has no synergies. I do not have Power Strike, I do not have Lightning Bolt, and I do not have Charge Strike, so I am getting absolutely no synergy damage added to this ability. I also have no hard points in Lightning Fury whatsoever, <laughs> and, uh, and that is pretty hilarious. But if we take a calculator and we actually look at this, what we'll find out is that, well, it will still do a pretty massive amount of damage. So uh, let me take this calculator real quick, and uh, we're going to work out the numbers, right? So right here on the screen, you'll see that it says it does 1 to 360, um, and we have to take an average of that. So uh, the easiest way to do an average, by the way, is 1 plus 360 divided by 2 equals 180.5. So that is our average damage. Uh, we're going to be releasing 15 bolts at this particular level, and 15 bolts is uh, a multiplication of 180. So if we multiply out 180 times 15, uh, we have an average damage of 2,707. Not particularly that great, especially considering that each bolt is only doing 360, and there's no guarantee that all of those bolts will hit a particular target, so we're probably going to be doing a lot less than that per target. However, once you add in Pierce, we have the ability to multiply out the number of bolts that we emit. Every target that is hit by the Lightning Fury skill, on the way through multiple targets, will emit 15 more bolts. And so it is a multiplicative process by which Pierce causes Lightning Fury to do more damage than it otherwise would normally. Um, if we, say, Pierce 10 targets with Lightning Fury, we would multiply 2,707 times 10, which means we would have a damage of 27,075. And you can see how Lightning Fury very quickly balloons out into a massive, massive amount of damage. Now, if we were to go to other skills, which there aren't other skills on the bow and crossbow tree that also benefit from the Pierce ability, and they are skills like Freezing Arrow, Exploding Arrow, uh, Immolation Arrow, and of course even uh, Strafe, because Strafe is going to be able to hit multiple times as well. And multi-shot can hit multiple times. Um, Magic Arrows does get a little bit of a benefit from it, fit from it, and I have a chinchilla hat at this particular moment, uh, but not as uh, not as much as some of the other abilities. Now, uh, Freezing Arrow is very similar to Lightning Fury. The freezing Arrow can do a massive amount of damage per hit, and it explodes in a three yard, 3.3 yard radius. And so every single target that you pierce through will cause a new explosion, which will do more damage than previously before. Exploding Arrow also has a radial effect, and so does Immolation Arrow. And in this way, these abilities can also have the same multiplicative damage that Lightning Fury has. Um, we also have Strafe, which fires 10 arrows, and those 10 arrows can all pierce, and hit multiple targets in a straight line. So if you have four or five monsters in a straight line from the target, and you fire Strafe, which is always going to attack 10 targets when it's maxed out, it will dish out a massive amount of damage to all those targets in the line. Now, Pierce is one of those abilities that does uh, kind of go down in its uh, effectiveness as it levels up. 
And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cover that really quickly. Um, so if we go and we take a look at Pierce um, on something like Amazon Basin, which is a pretty good website for looking at skills, um, you can see how high it goes up and how, how much it starts to diminish. Uh, so basically at level one, it's only 23%, which is relatively low. I mean, it very quickly rises to 34%, then 42%, then 49%. And before you know it, at level five, you've already hit 55%, which is a 55% chance to pierce, which is pretty darn good. Um, and a couple more levels is going to get you pretty nice uh, bonuses. You got 59 at level six, 63 at level seven, 65 at level eight, 69 at level nine, and uh, 69 at level nine. That's so that's catchy. And uh, 10, level 10, 71%. Now it does get to a point where it starts to drop off in effectiveness. Um, around level 16, you will notice that um, it actually doesn't go up in points. At level 16, it, it's 82. And at level 17, it's 82. And at level 18, it's 83. And at level 19, it's 84. And uh, it actually gets to the point where it only goes up by 1% or sometimes not even any percent at all uh, per level which um, is kind of bad to put points into it at that, at that point. Now, there is a point at which it does hit level 100, which is like level 60, which is I don't think is actually obtainable. But um, most people try to settle for at least about uh, 66%. Uh, 66%, and there's a reason why that magic number is, uh, is around the right amount, because of the belt which also provides pierce. So there are other games, other items in the game that do provide pierce, and I'd like to go over those really quickly. Uh, most of them are bows, unfortunately, but there are very few items in the game that actually provide you with a pierce effect that is not linked to a bow. Uh, Stormstrike Battle Bow has 25% pierce, Kuko Kushaku, Sh Shikaku has 50% pierce, uh, Gut Siphon Demon Crossbow has 33% pierce, Doom Slinger Repeating Crossbow has 35% pierce, Iker String Crossbow has 50% pierce, Demon Machine Chukonu has 66% pierce, which is perfect for 33% additional, uh, can be paired up very well with, uh, with Razor Tail. 100% uh, pierce on Buriza Do Canyon, which is uh, an up until recently has been the only 100% pierce bow or item in the game. And they recently added another one. We'll go over that. Um, the Throwing Knife War Strike Winged Knife has 50% pierce on it. Uh, the Razor Tail Sharkskin Belt has 33% pierce. Uh, Vidala's Rig, which is a set, has a 50% bonus when you wear the full set. Um, and they recently have added two new items. Uh, the Mist Rune Word, uh, which has 100% pierce on it. Uh, Mist Rune Word seems to be geared more directly at... Uh, Act 1 Rogues, and then they've also added Pierce to the Arathas set. So if you take a look at the new Arathas set, I actually have that video up. Um, Arathas now has a Pierce mechanic added to it uh, of, uh, what was the uh, amount? I can't remember. Right off the top of my head, it was 20% or 30%. Uh, 24%. So Arathas now has a 24% chance to pierce, uh, which means that Arathas can be used relatively low level to give yourself some extra pierce when you really need it. Um, and uh, trust me when I say that having pierce before you can actually put points into pierce is very, very effective. Um, pierce is, of course, a level 30 ability, which means that you cannot actually get your hands on it until level 30. But Arathas Finery is level 15, which means that you can equip the full Arathas set 15 levels before you can equip the Pierce skill. Now, even having just a small amount of Pierce on a character that needs it um, can be absolutely amazing. Even 24% will give you a chance to double your damage, basically by having an arrow hit two targets or three targets. And, uh, and this can be extremely effective. Um, as we talked about earlier, Pierce is probably the main reason most of these abilities do any real damage at all. Um, strafe, Exploding Arrow, Freezing Arrow, Multi-Shot, they would all be practically nothing without the ability to pierce. Um, same thing with Lightning Fury. Lightning Fury would be absolutely garbage without the pierce ability. And, uh, and, it, and I'm, to, to demonstrate this fact, I am actually going to take this Amazon. So this is a uh, passive Amazon. She is not a... Um, 
an actual Amazon that uses bow or crossbow skills. Um, she actually has a bow that has some uh, some guided arrow on it, and she has the, um, of course, the Thunder Gods of Vigor, which gives her plus three lightning fury and plus three lightning strike. And the whole purpose behind this is to utilize lightning fury by utilizing Pierce. I'm, of course, a passive and magic Amazon, so I have a lot of passive and magic plus skills. I've got uh, passive and magic gloves, passive and magic uh, charms. I've got uh, even a plus three passive and magic necklace, which which I do swap out with a, a better amulet when I need to. Um, I also uh, utilize other items like, um, you know, the uh, Amazon torch and, of course, um, the Annihilus charm, which I'm, I'm missing at this particular moment, but it's it's only it's only one point. It should be fine. Um, Mr. Nee, why are you being so bad today? Sit still and, and, and pose for the camera. Everybody wants to see you. They said, where's the chanchula, they say. They said, we haven't seen Mr. Nee, nee in a while. <laughs> why don't you go with my shirt and take a nap? Go on. Go take a nap. Come on. He's going to pop right back out. Watch. <laughs> so let me go grab the leg. I'll be right back, and I'm going to show you how Lightning Fury, with absolutely no synergies, on a character with no points in Lightning Fury, handles the cows. All right, so here we go into the cow level. And um, this, just to, just to verify, this is my Amazon that has no points in Lightning Fury. And I want you to see how quickly I am able to kill the cows with this particular character, despite the fact that... Uh, she has no points in this ability. Um, you will see that the damage diminishes the lower the number of cows are. I also need to make sure that I am angling my attacks to make sure that they are piercing the most number of cows possible. Um, if you also hit a wall, you will also notice that the lightning bolts will come back from the wall, if you are close enough, and, uh, and they will dish out even more damage. See how I am getting an additional lightning bolt from the wall? Uh, it is because the cow is within range of the lightning bolts. The lightning bolts do have a maximum range. And uh, Pierce is the main ability that's making this work. Uh, without Pierce, I would be doing relatively no damage whatsoever. And the cows would probably be off limits for me. But um, as a no-point Javazon, um, I can still do fairly well in the cow level by utilizing the Pierce ability. Of course, I do have to constantly make sure that I am angling my attacks. I have to constantly make sure that I am dishing out as many pierces as possible. Uh, now, I don't have a 100% chance to pierce because I am using uh, just the pierce ability, which is, of course, um, 86%. But at 86%, that actually is a pretty decent chance. Trying to angle to get the best pierces that I possibly can to make sure that I'm doing as much damage as possible. And uh, and that's really what Pierce is about. Uh, Pierce is a very fun ability, and it's one of the reasons why I haven't liked to play Amazons on the consoles. Because I feel like with the Amazons on the consoles, I have less control over where my attacks go. Because the game kind of just auto-aims them. And uh, auto-aiming the abilities means I have a, a very difficult time getting those pierces, those proper pierces off, angling my character at the correct uh, positions to make sure that I'm hitting as many targets as humanly possible, clustering them up so that, uh, so that my explosions will hit multiple targets at a time. And I've played uh, multiple different characters. Uh, this is my passive Amazon, who is <laughs> using materials might, by the way. Uh, but I also have a uh, an Amazon that is specifically built around the freezing arrow and fire arrow. And that Amazon also does relatively well in uh, in most situations because of the pierce ability. And um, even if I were to take her into the cow level, um, she has to do the same thing. She has to... Uh, angle herself, make sure that she is in the correct positions so that those characters are, or those monsters are allowing her to dish out as much damage as humanly possible. And uh, and for that purpose, I'm going to take you in here and we're going to uh, look at how this works. Uh, she's using a, uh, a Wizen Draw Bow for the negative enemy cold resistance. And um, you guys will see how this, uh, this unfolds. First, we need to find some cows. 
So you notice that my arrow is going through the targets out the other side, and it's doing a pretty massive amount of damage to clusters, because every single time it pierces, um, I obtain a new explosion. The new explosion is doing more damage, and the damage that is coming out of an explosive tiny zone where all of the monsters are stuck is much higher than just one arrow by itself. So if you angle your hits with Pierce, you have absolutely amazing killing power and ability to, to knock down targets. Now, of course, occasionally you will come across monsters that are immune to your element, which is why this particular character is actually a dual elemental character. Um, he actually has the ability to dish out, she actually has the ability to dish out fire and ice damage um, in the same way. Now, the explosive arrow works much the same way that the freezing arrow does, in that it does more damage when there are more targets nearby. Um, so I will find myself in certain situations where I am a little bit uh, on, on, on awares or, or, uh, or struggling, essentially, because I am fighting just one or two monsters. Uh, because my damage does balloon out rather massively versus large groups. And, uh, and they can be combined relatively easily, like this. Of course, Mr. Cow King over here is bugged out. He wasn't even near me, but somehow he was attacking me, which was very interesting. I guess his position is bugged. It does look like he's immune to cold, so we're going to have to rely on fire. But to get the maximum damage that we would like, we kind of want to group him up with some other cows so that the explosive effects are being multiplied. And uh, let's see if we can get him inside of a group so we can really multiply out the fire damage. We can also use the ice arrow a couple times to freeze the targets in place as crowd control. Ooh, okay, Cow King. You see how the Cow King just teleported to me like that? That was beautiful. He certainly has a lot of uh, resistances, this one. He's, he's running like every kind of resistance possible. He has magic resistance, which gives him resistances to everything. He has lightning resistance. Uh, lightning enchanted, which makes him, of course, uh, immune to lightning. And he's also uh, immune to cold as well. He's probably also almost immune to just about every other element as well, including fire. <laughs> and I am struggling. Oh, no. But the Cow King is not the reason why I came here. <laughs> Even though I would like to kill the Cow King. I would like to kill you, sir, but it's just you're immune to everything. Let me grab my Merc. Haha. -ha. The mortal enemy. Why is my Merc running away from the Cow King? Sir, I need you over here. Sir. Thank you. Why is he... My poor Merc. What is my Merc even using? I might have taken all my mercenaries' equipment. He's using an insight back to Corbin. No wonder he's getting his butt kicked. Don't I have an actual insight pole arm sitting in my stash? I got an Ariox needle. Yay, and the Cow King is dead. So many moves. Um, anyway, I hope I have impressed upon you um, the importance of Pierce, how effective it is on a character, um, especially when you are dishing out attacks that can be multiplied in a very variety of ways. Um, I would also like to very quickly show you the changes to throwing mastery um, and how throwing mastery can now give you Pierce as well. So let's go take a look at that. 
All right, so here we are on the public test realm, uh, which is where the changes are going into effect. And this is Throwing Mastery. And I'm, we're not going over Throwing Mastery today, but we are going over Pierce. And you'll notice that they've added an 8% chance to Pierce on Throwing Mastery. And as we level it up, you'll notice that the Pierce chance goes up much the same way that the Amazons does. Um, and at level 20, or rather level 23 with the plus to skills, you'll see that we are now at a 47% chance to pierce with our throwing items, which is absolutely amazing, um, which makes throwing barbs much, 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 much easier to build in general. Um, you can combine this, of course, with the Razor Tail Belt, which has 33%, which would get you a 47% plus 33. And you could also theoretically combine this with the War Shrike Throwing Knife, which uh, does have 50%, uh, which would bring you very close to 100% pierce on your throwing items. And um, as a barbarian, the ability to double your damage, essentially, is very, very handy. You have to think about the fact that um, as you're throwing a, a really powerful spear at something, if it only hits one target, it's doing maybe 200 damage, right? But if it, uh, if it hits two targets, it's potentially doing 400. If it hits three targets, it's potentially doing 600 and so forth and so on. And, uh, and Pierce is going to have a very, very nice effect on the amount of damage that you can output even as a barbarian. Um, Pierce can also be extremely useful on characters that are not Amazons or Barbarians. And uh, say, for instance, you were going to make a character like, for instance, a Enchant Sorceress. Um, Enchant Sorceresses are an interesting uh, breed of character that rely on the plus Pierce of items. Uh, for instance, this particular character utilizes the Demon Machine Crossbow, which has 66% piercing attack, and the Razor Tail Belt, which has 33% piercing attack, which adds up for a total of 99%, which means that she can effectively pierce over and over and over again, uh, just like most other characters like Amazon can do. Now, the very interesting thing about this particular build is that she relies on the Enchant ability to add fire damage to her attack, and she also relies on the Fire's Explosive Arrows or Bolts ability on the Demon Machine bow. And basically what she's going to do is she's going to fire this bow. It's going to add the fire damage to her attack. And it's also going to add the fire damage to the Explosive Arrow, which in effect creates a nice piercing explosion of fire damage, which can be extremely effective as you can see, even in Hell Difficulty. Um, you, she can actually add even more damage to this in other forms, and, uh, and quite honestly, she's not built properly. She's missing her helmet, she's missing her boots, she doesn't have any plus to skill charms, which would make a huge difference. Fire damage charms, all of that stuff can make a huge difference in this particular build. And um, it's all thanks to the Pierce ability. Without the Pierce ability, a build like this would not be possible. I hate uh, I hate quill rats. They're immune, they're immune to fire, of course, so can't uh, can't do anything to them. I wasn't even paying attention that they were immune to fire. Hmm. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, even when it is a 23-minute video about the Pierce ability. Um, however, I do hope that I have given you some insight into how powerful Pierce is and why it is so important on so many different characters. Whether you are a Boson, whether you are a Enchant Sorceress, whether you are a Javazon, whether you are a Throwing Barbarian, or even a Strider Paladin, uh, there are tons of different ways that you can build characters utilizing the Pierce ability, and very fun ones too. As always, thanks for watching, and keep watching.